Welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Ball Xenoverse. Today is yet another Mentor Day, and I have my own reasons for this one, and those of you who've played this game, I'm sure know what those reasons are. But today we're mentoring with Tien. Uh, Tien is actually one of the DLC characters, I believe, alongside Yamcha and... maybe... Jocko? I don't know. Um, I think they were introduced with the Resurrection F DLC, but I don't actually recall off the top of my head. He's probably gonna be crazy difficult and we'll see what happens, but, um, hey Tien. Now, one thing I like about T Tien is, I guess you could say an underrated character, because he had a, he played a very major role in Dragon Ball, but come Z, he was very, very much a background character. Um, he did little more than die fighting against Nappa, and let's see here, what happened after that? He was... When Cell came around, he fought Cell and nearly died, but otherwise it didn't do much. I think he was there when everybody uh, faced off against Cell at Perfect Cell? But, like, he's been very, very much so a background character, but Tien actually did a lot of very meaningful things. And especially in the original Dragon Ball, as he was introduced as an expert martial artist. Someone who knew their way around mar the martial arts and special abilities, well before anybody else in the series was. In fact, Tien was the first character to be able to fly. In fact, that was one of his special techniques, was to be able to fly. Nobody else could fly. Goku could jump really high, but that's about it. Um, not only could Tien fly, he also... I think he developed a counter to the Kamehameha that made him all but immune to them. And I know his third eye lets him do something, but I don't remember what. And I think one of the big ones is his... Um, crap, I don't even remember the name of it. It's his triangular beamy fires that is crazy powerful. In fact, it's powerful enough that even for someone as low as Tien, as far as the strength scale goes, even given that, it was enough to... Seriously, Nettle Cell. Let me tell you about that one. I don't know if you want me to fight you without holding back. You're Tien, and I've killed gods. Oh wow, it's a one-star even? Like, they introduced him with the expectation that he would be a much lower level... I suppose it makes sense, too. I mean, you can't bring Tien in and go like, Alright, you gotta fight Tien, seven stars. The crap, Tien's no seven-star fighter. I'm very sorry for what I'm about to do to you, Tien. Like, Tien and Yamcha, honestly. I think Yamcha gets the butt of a lot of the jokes, but Tien and Yamcha were kind of the two that got the short end of the stick. Krillin... Now, Krillin stayed up there a fair bit more. Show me how good you are. What do you have? Solar Flare, Tri-Beam, Neo Tri-Beam, Spirit Explosion. Before. Not bad at all. I see. With your skills, I bet you can handle my moves. I'm sorry, Tian. And I suppose tech we've seen this a couple times now, but I suppose technically we have no mentor during the mentor initiation. 
sad that we don't hear anything. Volleyball fist! I like that he even, like, understands, and I think Yamcha does this too, but they understand that, like, yeah, you're a lot more powerful than them. But at the same time, you're both martial artists, and just because you're more powerful than them doesn't mean they don't have something they can teach you. All right. So as it turns out, that volleyball strike that he gave you is really not a very good move. But with any luck, we'll get something better this time around. Sup, Tien? Ugh. Hold up, I gotta re-equip it because I took it off because it was horrible. The reason I don't like it is, for one, it doesn't do much against... There it is. For one, it doesn't do much against characters with super armor because it does... It's a three-part combo, and if the first part doesn't connect, so to say, you don't even do the other two parts. Um, on top of that, you can be punched out of it like, you do the first hit, and you just get punched, and you're out of it. And it has a charge-up to it, despite being melee. So, like, you get in melee range. Hey, I'm gonna try to hit you with this! And they just punch you, and then you're not doing it anymore. Hi. See, so he's placing a condition on himself, too. wonder what he's gonna be doing. Use the techniques I taught you. Show me the results of your training. You know, what do we got? Solar flare, tri beam. That's it. That's all you got. Okay, so let me try this volleyball fist thing. It, of course, it does like no damage, but that's actually because I have nothing at all in. Oh wow, really? Innocence? Oops, wrong button. Really? Innocence Cannon is what I... That's the ability that I left on? Well, it hurts. It works re It works well enough against lower AI characters like TN. Because he's more likely to, A, not do enough damage to knock me out of it. Ugh! That was the tri beam. That was just a super tri beam, though. And how am I supposed to finish you with it if you just keep doing that? There we go. You've perfected my move and made it your own. I'm proud of you. Okay, I don't like that one. Let's see how good the next one is. Whoa, look at that. You're on a whole different level. Dodon Ray. Okay, Dadon Ray. What do you do? You're gonna be down here. Rapid fire key blast from your fingers will be weak compared to other key blasts, so what's the point? There's just a lot of them. Oh well, we'll find out. 
I did on raid a couple guys, and Tien is ready for the next stage. Right. Yamcha and Krillin are alright. Heck yeah. Yamcha and Krillin. Uh, trained in the Turtle Hermit School, as they said, it's because um, they trained under Master Roshi, which was, again, primarily in Dragon Ball. But, yeah. And Tien showed up as that, like, rival from, like, a completely different school. Like, completely different mentality, the whole nine yards. Memory serves, Tien's master was kind of a jerk. Admittedly, Tien was kind of a jerk when you first met him. Now, I Gotta get Krillin! Let's see who's fighting style is stronger. What do you say? That's interesting. I'll take that challenge. I found that the Dedon Ray isn't very strong. Like, they say it, they said as much as it is weaker than a lot of the other um, key skills, but it's exceptionally fast. So it's very easy to. Ow, 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 ow. So it's exceptionally easy to, like, hit somebody with it real quick, interrupt them, knock them out of something they happen to be in. Ah, overshot him. Really? Okay, that's Krillin. Next up is Yamcha. I don't know, I think it has a great range, so it's probably not even good for, like, hitting people super long range. No, I can hit him with that. Wait. Okay, I probably should have stopped myself sooner. Oh, oh, oh. Finished. It looks like we won this time, didn't we? That was a cakewalk, no. Tian. Don't even act like that was hard. To surprise me. I honestly didn't expect you to last here. Really? Killed gods here. Whoa! Look at that. You're on a whole different level. Heck yeah, tri beam. TN's signature move. If memory serves, Tribeam is like crazy powerful, but it also zaps his very life energy in order to use, which is how he could actually hurt Cell with it. I mean, it's crazy powerful, but he can't use it. Okay, well, next up, let's go see what Tribeam does. Let's see here. Try beam, try beam, try beam! Oh, so I guess you have to charge up for it or something. Such. So I'm not actually as fond of try beam either, but what are you gonna do? Reasonably powerful, really hard to hit people with. But Tien is ready for our final Hi. training. Heck yeah! Defeat him with Tri-Beam! neo tri -beam. Because the main problem with Tri-Beam is when you use it, you continue to face the same direction, and there's a brief charge-up period. You can then wait and actually hit the button again whenever you want to fire, to actually fire it. So you could wait for the opponent to, like, get back in range of it. But especially on the fly, it's just very difficult to hit people with, with enemies moving around constantly. We'll see how well it goes. You definitely seem strong. So it's Tri-Beam. Okay, so I've still got in- Ooh. Now. 
It does a decent amount of damage, all things considered, though. He's gonna punch me. Get some key up, so I got plenty of time to hit people with things. That's the Neo Tri-Beam. Oh, that one aims... Oh, that's... Jeez, that's the thing he hits Cell with. Thankfully, you're pretty low level. And he's doing it again. I'm just gonna keep moving. Actually, it's kind of astounding. If I know they're gonna come at me, though. Don't move back. Unleash your move against me. <laughs> Not bad when you know he's coming at you, though. I don't think there's anything else I can show you. It's like frickin' what TN did to Cell coming out of that crater. Whoa! Look at that! You're on a whole different level! And Neo Tri-Beam. Now, Neo Tri-Beam, well, we saw it, so I guess that's that. I'm actually going to change off of this <clears throat> and go back to... I'm actually going to go back to Dadon Ray, and I'll show you how I... Perfect Kamehameha, let's go to Neo Tri-Beam. So while we get Tien ready to actually do the training bit, I'll show you how I go about raising these guys. Uh, for the mentors and I'll say doing this is actually very easy though. I wouldn't bother until you're effectively at endgame There's just no need to farm that this intently until you're later on and there's not going to be many missions that you can farm easily enough until much later on but uh, the only real important thing is that you have maximum charge or some form of charge on this would work for physical or key supers. It helps a lot if you've got an ultimate that's crazy powerful, like Perfect Kamehameha. But if the skill that they give you doesn't work out, because you want to have either an ultimate attack that's crazy powerful, like Perfect Kamehameha, or you want to equip the super attack that they give you. If the ability, if the super attack they give you is crap, and you just have a hard time getting through the mission, use your ultimate. Otherwise, spam the crap out of that. I go down to three star, up one to explosion of Namek. This one is nice because it also lets you farm Dragon Balls. Because when you win this one, the ultimate condition is that a time patroller will potentially show up, and defeating a Time Patroller gives you a chance for a Dragon Ball. So this is nice because you only have to go through the ultimate finish if you're uh, going to be fighting a Time Patroller. Otherwise, they're not wasting your time. Select yourself, and select your Mentor, because going in with your Mentor also greatly raises the, the way the meter raises. I don't know if you need to go in with two bars, or, or if you're going with a different skill set, or what. I don't know if I'm going with two TNs. I don't know if that even matters. We're fighting Frieza. Frieza's not that threatening. But ideally, you just want to spam whatever skills they give you. So I'm going to go up, and I'm just going to float away from Frieza until he locks onto somebody else, and I'm going to charge up my key. Once my key gets full, you start spamming. Hit the wrong button. The Don Ray is actually kind of nice for this because you can use it a lot and just kind of poke them a ton. Um, it comes and goes as to how fast you get through this, though. Alright, Frieza. Because sometimes, sometimes just 
given his AI, he decides, I'm just gonna fly around a lot more, and it's gonna be irritating. You're gonna have a hard time hitting me with anything. Sit down for a second, Frieza. This is gonna stink. Yay, Frieza's dead. Yay, Time Patroller showed up. Because using the skill that they give you actually raises your meter with the mentor. Having fighting alongside them raises it, as well as getting Z ranks on missions raises it. So this one is it's low enough level, there's only one target, you can burn through it crazy fast. In fact, one perfect Kamehameha from me at this point just kills Frieza in one shot. And it's hard it's hard to argue with that speed for getting through missions. Oh, I don't have a key. Or I didn't have the stamina. But you do this. You get out. That was actually one of the... That one really wasn't agreeing very well. I can usually get out of those in half that time. Like, you can see my clear time, two minutes. I can get out of that in probably a minute 15, normally. Um, that one was just being very disagreeable. But you just do that. Between fighting with two TNs, spamming the crap out of the super he gave me, and either Z-ranking it, getting the ultimate finish, all that fun stuff, you can knock those out crazy fast, and I can max these mentors in a matter of... A couple hours. Like, it's, it honestly doesn't take long at all. Okay, he'll, he's not ready to train yet, so... I suppose I'll speak on this too, but like, again, all you have to do to... You just go in and then exit out. It'll refresh the area, so that'll put new mentors around. So all you have to do is that, and you can look around and see if the mentor you're actually looking for is in town now. And if he's not, just go back and do that again. That'll also, also refresh um, your mentor guy, so he may give you the chance to spar. Sparring with Tien! Probably should have equipped something better than Dodon Ray. Well, I've got his... Um, Neo Tribeam equipped, so that's cool. Wait. Oh, jeez, he's got two health bars? Why didn't you do your... There we go. Sit down for a second while I charge up my Pope. Okay, you do that, and I'm going to do this. Oh, oh, I have to do it myself? Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. i got to do this myself. I don't know. I'm... I'm I don't know, I'm not using that right. I'm gonna have to practice that crap or something. Because that just isn't working for me. He's gonna sit over there all day long. And I'm just gonna do this. I don't know, do I have to? Maybe I hit the other button. You do, you hit the other button. You hit the other button. Go, man, go! Oh, that wears you the crap out, though. It's gonna sting! Ah! Oh. Okay, it wasn't that bad. You have to, um... You actually have to hit the... I think it's the button you use to trigger it. So, like, 
I've got Neo Tribeam on right click, so I have to hit right click in order to keep firing it. Oh man, Z Soul! Oh, I ran out of key. It'll just keep using key. Yeah! It'll keep using key, so you want to do that, like, with full key or something. Okay. Oh no, I'm leaving. Fudge this noise. Okay, hold up. I'm gonna try this with... Okay, let's go, Tien. Really? It only fired like twice that time. Why'd I get it to fire so many times before? Oh well. At the end of the day, it's not that important. It's kind of tricky to use. It seems like it's alright. But it's way easier to just use this. Of course, he's invincible while he's doing that. That's cool. Yeah, it goes out of range, so you can't even use it for that. I mean, you sometimes can. I suppose. I suppose I still have room to grow too. I don't know. If I could figure out how to use it, I feel like it'd be a pretty all right one. But there's just way better ultimates out there. There's much I can teach you. Now the thing is. Tien's a pretty cool guy, and he's got some interesting skills. Not, maybe none of them are especially stand out, but some of them are pretty interesting. But uh, the reason I did this is because you get two different Z souls for this one. Let's see if I can find them now. You get this one, Master Tien Z Soul, equipping the soul increases Tien, Tien related skill powers. Cool. Uh, drastically lowers key blast super, so that's not great. And more importantly, this one. All moves named Kamehameha pass through and become null. I'm not even kidding. Yes, it's minus four to key blast supers, but I'm not even kidding. You equip this one, and you just don't get hurt. You could have Goku run up, do a freaking Kamehameha right in your face. It just passes through like it never even happened. This is a useful Z Soul, to say the least. But, until next time, everyone.